Dr. Kenji and also the audience that we do not have much time to elaborate on every presentation as we have um, actually many presentations to move on to. But anyway, thank you again. That was a very envisioning presentation by Dr. Kenji Hirata. And the next research paper will be presented by Ms. Ene Tamiru, the head of the Estonian e-learning development center where she has been working for since June 2003. The Estonian e-learning development center manages Estonian e-university and e-vet consortiums. As for Ms. Tamiru herself, she has participated in several working groups within the Estonian Ministry of Education and Research and contributed to the preparation and writing of the new strategy for Estonian higher education. Also, she takes active part in the work of several different international e-learning organizations. And today, she'll be giving a presentation on cooperation, I'm sorry, cooperation model for national e-learning development in Estonia. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Eni Tamioru. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. The first, I want to very much thank uh, Thailand uh, Cyber University for this opportunity to be in the first time in the Asia and in the Thailand. It's, it's my first time to be there and I'm very happy to enjoy and I like in the home. And the second, I have one question. Do you know where was uh, created Skype? Which country? Where? Which country was Skype? Skype. Skype? You don't know Skype? Yes, you're great. Estonia. This is for you. Thank you. <laughs> Honest. Okay. Let's go now to my presentation. And um, In the, my presentation, I uh, talk a uh, little bit about Estonia, then about us, who we are, and uh, where I come, and then about e-learning in Estonia. Estonia is a very small country, and um, we have, uh, how you see, it takes only three hours to drive one part of Estonia to other part to Estonia. And, and this is so small and we have only our population in 1.3 million. And uh, our capital is Tallinn. And there is some picture about Tallinn. I hope so you have chance to visit our city if you have holiday or vacation. And Tallinn is one is very beautiful medieval city and old town. And uh, local language uh, is Estonian, but in Estonian is a lot of Russian-speaking uh, spoken people and our young people talking very well English. And climate in Estonia is very interesting. It's better to you to come to Estonia to summertime. We have uh, in the summer, uh, this maximum is um, uh, 10 uh, till 15, but some cases is plus 25. But in the warmest uh, day was in the August 2002, uh, when it was plus uh, 35. But in the winter, we have very, very cold, how you see. And uh, usually in the winter, we have snow, and uh, we have uh, minus 10 uh, until minus 15 degrees. It's uh, better to come to spring or in the summer. The spring is very, very beautiful in Estonia. And Estonia and IT, how you know, uh, Skype was uh, created in Estonia, but uh, in Estonia it's very popular banking. I want to know, I never go to the bank office. All my uh, bank activities I do in the, via internet. I have ID card and I log in and this is very safe. And uh, if we're going to the bank office, I have to pay for this uh, 
this, uh, this uh, operation, what they're doing in the bank office. But if I do this via internet, this is from me free. And ticketing, positioning, voting, uh, parking, car security, and casa too. In Estonian IT is very, very popular. And we have uh, more than um, 1,000 uh, Wi-Fi free zone. And in Estonia, we never pay about the Wi-Fi. It's free. And if Estonian people going to abroad, they don't understand why they have to be pay for Wi-Fi and so much money. And in, in Estonia, if you go, you can open your laptop in the park or in the cafe and log in, and this, everything is for free to you. We have 75% of the home, we have computer, and if you have computer, you have internet. This is uh, the same level. And uh, in uh, 100 inhabitants and as 110 uh, uh, mobile phones, I will see some person is two or three mobile phones. And now about the Estonian um, IT Foundation. Estonian IT Foundation was uh, provided uh, with Estonian uh, state, Estonian university, and uh, IT in industry from Estonia, 2000, it, uh, nine years ago. And uh, it's all together is IT Foundation. And our main goal is uh, to manage Estonian Information Technology College, who is a private university and uh, promoting ICT-related teaching. Then, uh, and after it's uh, to develop cooperation in the e-learning area, and it is umbrella from Estonian e-learning development center. And uh, this you say my organization. My organization is there, and I am head for this organization and uh, for my team working uh, seven person. And IT Foundation is our umbrella, and we manage two consortium, Estonian e-university and Estonian vocational schools. Estonian e-university was established 2003, and our member is uh, seven universities. I have not time to tell about uh, education and education area in Estonian, but if you have question, I can told this in the coffee break, but um, remember is most uh, state university in the Estonia. In Estonia is private university and the public university. Our member is public university. And Estonia an e-vocational school, our member is 26 uh, vocational school and uh, nine um, uh, apply, applied higher education institution. They are together in the one consortium. And uh, how you see, we manage uh, the most uh, student number in the, in the this two consortium manage most student number in the Estonia. Uh, how I say, my organization is uh, only seven person working there, and uh, we just helps universities and vocational to school to do e-learning. We, uh, we have not lectures, we have not students, we help them to, and we coordinate this job together. And we help teachers to understand how ICT helps in the learning process. And this is our main activities, what our small team doing in Estonia. And uh, first is uh, very important for us is training and support. And this is training and support academical stuff. Our training for is uh, three level, basic training, intermediate training, expert and tutor training. This uh, level teachers can um, go to teaching and what do you want to change in the learning process to make more flexibility, flexibility, flexible uh, quality and um, understandable the student. Not e-learning. E-learning is like email. We're not talking about email. We're not doing email strategy. But we need to have talking about learning. If you're not doing about, not talking about learning, then e-learning is nothing. Important is learning. 
And behind that is e-learning. E-learning just helps to do better learning. And um, I told this to our teachers uh, some four years ago. If you're not doing e-learning, in the next 10 years, you can't teach. It's very important. It's life, it's evolution. We have to do e-learning. We have to, not to do e-learning, but we have to use ICT tools in the learning process. It's not means what kind of, but we have to make this kind of mix it. It's not going to be this traditional. It's not in, the, in their life, and students not liked it. And, uh, and this training, we put the teachers the same situation, how is student? They have to understand what happened behind the computer. It's easy to come to the classroom and sitting in the uh, fish faces and not understand what teacher talking, but it's not easy to sitting in the computer if to have so big word, you have log in where you want to go to the Orkut or Skype with friends, but you have learn. And it, it's doing and uh, learning in the study, in the e-learning, it's not easy. You have to be very controlled student if you're going to e-learning. And the first, if an Estonian e-learning start 10 years ago, very popular, and he courses. The student thinking it's, oh, now it's very easy to study. It's not easy to study. They understand it's in the first steps. To study in the e-learning is difficult to study in the classroom. And this is why the students have to be uh, very, very, how it control itself. You, you want to do something else or, or if you have in the home and you have to study, it's not, not easy. And uh, we put the teacher the same situation and they have to understand that not the, you can't to put your uh, classroom materials in the internet. You have to change your pedagogical methodology and this is uh, very, very important to understand how pedagogical, pedagogical methodology working in the, in the ICT. And, um, and the second, what we do, this support. Uh, the first, if we start doing in Estonian e-learning, all teachers doing e-courses himself. And it was very heavy, heavy work. They doing and they not understand and they have not people who helps them. But now we have 57, 56 education technologists who helps them to create uh, e-courses, learning object or video courses, and uh, helps them understand what kind of IC tool they have to use. How you heard today, it's a lot of uh, different IC tools, ICT tools, it's uh, web 2.0, but if we use everything this, we have to understand why we use, and what kind of situation we use. We, can't, we can't, can't use everything in the one courses. And the education technologist helps the teacher to understand what kind of technology he can to use in he courses. What kind of student you have. You have analysis before you start doing e-courses. Why are you doing e-courses? What it helps to you? And in Estonia, what was um, three years ago, very popular starting this kind of video courses. Everybody, if you ask, every teacher say, or lecturer say, I want to do video courses, video courses. And it was very easy. They're sitting near the laptop, they talking. It was, it was like whom, uh, who made video, very boring. And students not like it. And then we start teaching them what and how you can do video courses. It's not so easy. You can't just sitting in the video and boring faces to talking. Everybody's sleeping in the computer. It's not interesting to, to hurt. And, uh, and this is very important to understand how to use ICT. And this is concept of education technologist. How you see, it's a lot of work what these people doing. And, uh, and some people ask to me what, uh, what professional they have. This is no new professional, new job in Estonia. It's only three years. And this is people who have behind background, uh, they are uh, IT teachers or they are uh, pedagogical background or IT background. And we teach himself to be education technologist. In Estonia, you can't study in the some courses to be education technologist. We have not master program for that or, or bachelor program. 
we teach them, and, and every year we have uh, summer school and winter school for them, and we teach how to use and how they can more and more help teachers to under understand about ICT. And this is some pictures about our study program. And it's usually you look like there is everybody's laptop and a uh, and lot of ICT tools we use and, uh, and software they use and networking and, uh, and everything is, uh, it is for these uh, summer schools and, and winter school. In August uh, now, uh, Leuven University Education Department coming to teach our edu uh, education technologies how to use multimedia in the learning process. What you have to do and how you can to do it better. E-learning content development. Very important is um, if a teacher going to the learning process, then they start doing e-learning content. And in Estonia, every year from the two consortium, our teachers doing, um, this is approximately numbers, but uh, some uh, every year 600 ECT e-courses, uh, 70 video lectures, 200, 200 learning objects. This is approximately number how much uh, e-content our um, teachers provide in the, in the year. And this is all, these two consortium. And uh, quality management is very, very important for, uh, for us. And in Estonia is now uh, available 3,700 e-courses. And uh, they uh, learn about more 56,000 uh, students take these e-courses. And this is, uh, maybe you have better to see your CD, you can see what kind of and where is uh, this, uh, what kind of area these e-courses and what kind of um, area the lectors like to do mo most e-courses. Economics is very, very popular in Estonia to do e-courses in the, in the economics. Infrastruction. We help uh, our organization gives uh, all universities and vocational schools to free to use three uh, learning management system. Our teachers is uh, freedom to use uh, learning management system and we uh, get them to free to use it. Uh, it's first is HIVA. HIVA is Estonian based learning management system. Second is Blackboard Vista. I hope you know this. And last is Moodle. And now is Moodle is going more and more and more popular learning management system in Estonia. And I would say video conference system is uh, very popular in Estonia. Uh, uh, about video conference system, in Estonia we use um, uh, 20 points uh, Polycom uh, video conference system. And uh, this is very popular for meetings and, uh, and for classroom. The most uh, universities in Estonia, uh, it is in the cities. But people live in the, in the countryside too. And Estonia is small, but it's not easy to travel every day to city to study. And then they can go to the, or in the home, they use uh, his uh, computer and they contact with video conference to the school and then they can study there. And uh, this kind of video conference um, uh, study in Estonia start the most popular and popular. The teacher sitting in the capital Tallinn and maybe student is in the island. In Estonia we have two islands, Hiuma and Saarema. And maybe the student is there, and then they not and ask question, and and study is going uh, very very well. And how I say it's a quality mark. Uh, this um, we are doing this uh, looking. If uh, lecturers start doing e courses, everybody start asking how to look quality e courses. What is important there? What you have to do understand for that, and then. Now in the five years, we're working in the quality mark. And last year, or two years ago, we start give for, for e-courses quality mark. And every year, only uh, 25 courses can get this quality mark. It's a big process. It's not easy 
the uh, lectures have to do it's uh, it's a self assessment to talk about this ecosis to assessment how its ecosis is quality or not quality we have criterium and uh, we have part of uh, one european union um, the quality project is e excellence uh, e-excellence project and uh, it was very good for understand quality of e-courses and, and e-learning. If you have a chance, you can look it in the web and uh, this is, I think it was uh, in the name for my abstract too. You can go and look this e-excellence project. This is very good to understand what means quality of e-learning and e-courses. And, and now two years ago, the Two years now, we give every year, once in the, our spring conference, this quality mark for our teachers. And they can put this uh, quality mark is e courses, and if students take it, they know this is very quality e courses. Uh, very important is inter-university cooperation, what we're doing, doing, and very popular for us is uh, thematic networks where teachers coming together and uh, the same area teachers and they discussing about this, how to use ICT in the, this uh, our area, mathematics, language teachers, uh, geographics, biology, everything. And this is not means it's only universities. There is the teacher in the secondary school, vocational school, universities, and this is very important to make cooperation and to understand how do ICT helps them in their work? And what is very important, the same children who are going in the secondary school, they're going to the vocational school, all in the universities. And if the same rules in the secondary school, it's very easy to understand how e-learning uh, helps him in the universities. It's, uh, or if they're going first in the universities and they saw their e-learning, e-study, they not understand how it's working, what it means, and they're thinking maybe the first, this kind of, oh, it's now very easy to study. But if they understand in the secondary school this, what means e-learning, the student, then it's, they understand this in the universities. It's have to be like uh, every, we, we want to, every, education uh, area to, to, to the same rules, what is in the universities, this is in the, in the primary school. It's not different for us. And how I say we have a very different uh, project, we have partner, and we have some 10, def ten different, uh, different project, and yesterday I put uh, leaflets about uh, where we are coordinator, and uh, this is, um, we make teaching program for teachers uh, to use web uh, 2.0 tools in the learning process. If you get it, you can uh, each jump project, and we coordinate it, and you can look it, and this is very interesting, how to use web 2.0 tools in the, in the learning process. Uh, very important and very, for us is uh, seminars and conference. And uh, every spring we have um, uh, international conference. If you have a chance, the next international conference in the April, 14 till uh, 16 of April next year. And there is a lot of international um, speakers. And every year we have seminars where teachers talking to each other, how do you use e-learning and ICT in the learning process, what was good, what was bad. It's very important to say about bad things too. It's not only the good things, but bad things. And, and they understand what is going uh, better and, um, and how I can to change maybe if nothing, something not working. And the last about financing. Uh, I think you are very interesting. Where is coming our money? <laughs> Everybody wants to know that. I want to say uh, that some money is coming from government, it's 70 percent, and then uh, we have membership fee, uh, who is member of our consortium, they have to pay. This is not big money for, uh, for university and vocational school, but this uh, membership fee, uh, they make, we have council, 
and uh, rectors is a member of this council, and they are very interesting for our activities, what uh, we're doing, and how we help universities to be better in the e-learning area. And uh, in the last, we have, uh, our say, we have a lot of projects, and Estonia is now very happy about European money, and uh, the most money is coming for now in our uh, activities for European Union. And thank you. This is our uh, song festival. And um, it was uh, this year, in the 3 and 4 of July, beginning of July, there is 35 singers. And there is 200,000 participators. This is uh, very famous in Estonia, and you are very welcome in the next, uh, the se the next uh, song festival is in the next five years. And uh, I hope maybe you heard about uh, Estonian uh, song revolution, where we sing its freedom from uh, Russian occupation. It's uh, song and singing is very important for Estonia. I am very, thank you, I bless you, a very nice day, and if you have a question, I'm very happy about this. Thank you. Is there any question from the floor for Ms. Tamiru about Estonia? I guess not, then thank you again, Ms. N.A. Tamiru, for the lecture and overview on e-learning in Estonia. And now we will take a 30 minute refreshment break and we will come back for the next paper presentation at 3.20, thank you.